Hey guys, uh, I wanted to do a quick video. I've only seen a couple on YouTube and I wanted to add one of my own to show you what to do with your gourds and your pumpkins, especially when they rot off the vine too fast. I'm here in Maryland and it's the last day of August and we have gotten so much rain that all of my pumpkins, the plants themselves have gone rotten. So I've had to pick as many of the gourds as I can and some of them started they're all nice and hard but it's way too early to be picking our pumpkins like this this one didn't even get to grow fully but it still looks cool but I wanted to show a way to preserve them that not a lot of people do and you can get months and months out of this technique if you follow it and then just the one thing I do add, slide my tea out of the way, the ones that aren't salvageable, like if you look at this one, it's all chunked up. It's not going to make it no matter what I do to it. Those are the ones I'll cut up and I'll make seeds. And that's pretty easy. All you do is cut them open, take all the seeds out, wash the seeds off gently, set them on a paper towel like it was on this paper towel, let them dry for a few days, and then I leave them in the refrigerator. We have a refrigerator out in our garage. And... This is what I will use for next year, so you don't have to buy seeds every year. Works every single year. These are just fly traps, you can ignore them. They have, we have a fruit fly problem in Maryland every year at the end of summer. So the first step in this obviously is to pick them. I picked all the ones I can get that weren't mushy or rotten. The second thing is all I did was clean them in the sink. You're gonna give them a, a good once over, scrub the dirt off with your hands. And then I set them on this towel before I put them on our counters to let them dry. And this is the first step. It only takes a minute, wash them off, let them dry. Then I'll show you the second step here in a minute. Okay, so the next step is we're now outside. We're going to wash the pumpkins. So I have 30 pumpkins. I have three five gallon buckets. So in each five gallon bucket, you don't have to fully measure this, but each five gallons of water, you wanna put a half a cup of bleach in. And that's so it can kill any bacteria, any growth that's on these watermelons. And the only other thing you want to do is just put a splash of soap. You don't have to go overboard. Just a little bit. Goes a long way. And then the one thing I did remember, forgot to tell you guys, if your pumpkin has a hole in it, it's hard to say. Let me get out of the sun. There's a hole right here. That's not the end of the world. Don't throw this pumpkin out. It's a nice little pumpkin. It's solid. There's nothing wrong with it. I washed it and I saw the hole. Just put some uh, glue in there. All I did was put some Gorilla Glue inside there and sealed that pumpkin up. It'll be fine. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is take your hose. Cold water's fine. You're going to start filling. You're going to start filling all these buckets up. Okay, so what you're going to do is fill them up about halfway, and then you can start gently dropping your pumpkins inside. Remember, I'm going to try and put about 10 in each one. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a little guy is 10. That's why you don't want to fill the water all the way up. And you're going to top it off. So you're going to do this for all three buckets or however many you have. I might even have to have a fourth bucket. So we'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, I filled up all buckets. Uh, I was able to get 10 in each one. You fill them to the top. Just remember, it's, it's a half a cup of bleach uh, for five gallons of water and then just a splash of, I think I used Dawn dish soap. So now you're gonna let these sit for half an hour and let that bleach and that soap do its job. It's gonna kill anything that's on these pumpkins and have them nice and clean when you take them out. So we'll let them sit for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and start the next step. 
All right, it's been a half an hour. They've been soaking. We're gonna go ahead and dump them out. Makes remember there's bleach inside here. So I'm gonna dump it on my walkway to kill some of these weeds anyway. Just gently dump them out. Try not to dump the pumpkins. Just like I just did. We're gonna dump all the pumpkins out. Take that, and then what you're going to do is you're going to spray them off. Okay, now that you've dumped them out, what you're going to do is you're going to spray off all the soap and the bleach. Give them a good cleaning. And I'm going to do this with all three buckets, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we got all the pumpkins and the gourds nice and washed off. Make sure you get all the bleach off of them. The next step is you're just going to let them sit here and you're going to let them dry for at least a half an hour. You want them completely dry. At some point you want to come over and you want to flip them over. Uh, but give them at least 30 to 45 minutes and then you'll go from there and then I'll show you the next step. Alright so while I'm waiting for the gourds and the pumpkins to dry I'll show you this rotten one I had on the table. This one's no good. It will not make it. It's got too many bad spots on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack it in half and attempt to hold this GoPro. Oh, see, we split it in half. All right, so you split it in half, and you're going to check the seeds. So you're going to check for the seeds once you get it open and then all you got to do is scoop them out get them into the strainer here they're good seeds there's nothing wrong with them usually if they look funky or just something doesn't look right after you've looked at them for a little bit, you know, go get another one. I have several rotten ones that aren't going to make it, so I'll take all the seeds out of them. And you're just going to sit and pop these out. Until you think you've got enough. So you get the idea. So there's probably 10 or 20 in there. And then you're just going to sit and wash them for a minute. You want to get the, the material out of here, and all you want is the seeds. There's a group of seeds. Tear them open. The material out. You just want to clean the seeds really good. So I'll sit and do this for a minute, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I didn't film all the footage. I mean, I don't think you need to see. Just cut the gourds or pumpkins in half, get the seeds out like we've done since we were little kids, wash them really, really good. Um, it's something to do while I'm letting the gourds outside dry. And um, So I did three rotten gourds that I had. I actually don't know what they're called, so I always nickname them like these look like jellyfish when they're done. These were perfectly round little pumpkins. And these, I call them starships. They look like giant just it looks like a starship to me so that's what we call them so I got you know more than enough seeds for next year um, I'll let those dry you know maybe for a day or two I'll sit here and then you'll see there's still some pieces of material that I'll pick these out but it's just something to do while you're letting the gourds outside dry and then we'll go check on them okay so the gourds are drying I've been turning them over it's probably been about 45 minutes so just make sure you turn them over you want them perfectly dry and clean before we spray them so I've already turned them like twice and then I'm just double checking that one's still a little damp so we'll just keep flipping oh this one's a little damp so we'll give him a little bit more time just keep turning them you want them nice and dry before you spray them. 
So we'll probably give these, it's been like 35, 40 minutes. I'll give them another 15 and then we'll start shooting them. Okay, all the gourds are nice and dry. So the last step here is to spray them and seal them. So what I have is, uh, this is Krylon clear glaze. It doesn't matter what you use. This is all Walmart had. Uh, you know, you can't find anything. You can use uh, Krylon, I'm sure Rust-Oleum, Walmart might have their own brand. You just want to get clear. It's not paint. You're just sealing the gourds from the elements. And all you're going to do is one at a time, good, put a good coat on them. You're just going to coat each one with a nice coat. And obviously I'm doing this outside. But you're just going to spray each one of them. You're going to go down the line and you're going to let it dry for probably, I go a half an hour minimum before I do another coat. And then you flip it over and do two more coats on the other side. And then, uh, so once you get that and I'll finish all these and we'll go to the final step. Okay guys, I wasn't able to do any more filming. We had a big storm come in and I had to bring everything into the garage and you didn't see the end. But all you would have seen was me spray painting each pumpkin, let them dry. You know, I would turn them over a different way, spray them again, let them dry, so on and so forth through the night. Uh, and this is what you're seeing as the finished product. Um, they have a little bit of shine on them, which I don't mind. It's something different. It's just the paint I picked out this year. Sometimes they have a matte finish, sometimes they have a little bit of a shine, but these are all finished. They are, uh, once you do this and you feel it, they have like a slick feeling. The whole pumpkin is like slick, so you know you've, I've coated it really well. So they're going to last for months and months. I mean, they may last till January, it's hard to say. Uh, but yeah, they're all nice and coated, they're clean. Uh, it only, I used a total of two cans, and I probably didn't have to use two cans. I just used them uh, because I bought them. So literally this whole project cost me $7. So all you needed was two cans of, um, I use Krylon. You literally can use anything. You just want to make sure it's a clear spray. You don't want to actually put spray paint on it. Make sure it's clear. It can say glaze. It can say clear gloss, clear matte. It doesn't matter. You know, you can get Krylon, Rust-Oleum, Walmart brand. It does not matter. So literally I have $7 in this project plus, you know, a scoop of bleach and a couple drops of uh, dish soap and then when you saw when I was taking a break these are all the finished seeds from some of the rotten gourds and the pumpkins I have them labeled you know these were my round these were my I call them spaceships I don't even know what they're called but this is my spaceship we like these a lot so the ones that went rotten I cut them up dried them for a few days as you can see right here we had a watermelon we grow big rattlesnake watermelons so we cut one open yesterday, a 30 pounder, and I'm saving the seeds and these will be some of the seeds we'll use for next year or I'll give them away to people. The one thing I would change with these seeds when you were watching, I do it every year and I forget every single year. Use a cloth and not paper towels. Paper towels work. They just tend to dry to the paper towel so you got to pick them off. So these, as uh, you don't have to do that because they're on a cloth so they're drying and they're not sticking to this dish towel. So these are watermelon seeds, and then we have all our gourd seeds. And if any of these go rotten, I'll go ahead and cut this open when it's done. I'll scoop out the seeds. They're still good, and I'll plant them, you know, next spring. So there you have it. So if you want to save your gourds like I did, there you go. Nothing to it. Like I said, my gourds on the last day of August, all the plants went rotten because of all the heavy rain we got in Maryland. So I had to pick them a little early. See, some of them started to turn, some of them... They're half and half. Some of them just stayed solid white, but this is how you preserve them. So you don't have to throw them out. You don't have to go buy more. All you have to do is pick them off your vines, wash them, let them dry, get the dirt off. You fill out, fill up your five gallon buckets with a, uh, one cup of bleach, you know, and a squirt of Dawn dish soap or whatever you have. Let them soak for half an hour, wash them off, let them dry. Make sure they're dry. Spray them with your clear gloss or what, you know, your clear haze. Let them completely dry to the touch for 24 hours, and then you can go ahead and give them to your wife, make your own decorations, put them outside. You know, they're not going to go rotten in 90 degree heat. They're sealed. They're nice and clean. So there you go.
If you have any questions, go ahead and post your comments below. I'll answer them. Um, if you have a tip or something you try different, we always try something different every year. Like this year we used, you know, gloss. We usually go keep them flat so they look a little bit more natural, but they still turned out pretty cool. But uh, I'm always welcome to hear tips or tricks. And other than that, enjoy your pumpkins in fall. Thanks for watching.